How are all of you lovely people doing today? My name is John, and welcome to another fantastic episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. This is a series where I take your questions about the zombie storyline and answer them. Whether it's a big, a small, or a simple question, I'm always happy to take them on. You can either leave your questions down below or tweet me at JohnnyJ25. Before we begin the episode, I want to make a quick announcement. Last week, we hit 250,000 subscribers on the channel, but more importantly, we hit 233,000 subs on the channel not too long ago, the next fabulous number in the sequence. And to celebrate, what I want to do is host an AMA on Reddit. So if you go down into the description, the first link will take you to my AMA on r slash codzombies. Here, you can ask me anything, whether it be about zombies or whether it be about myself, I will be answering questions down there. The AMA begins at 4 o'clock. I'm uploading this video at 3 3 o'clock. Now, even if you're a little late to the AMA, that's okay. I'm going to be on there answering questions for a while, so I probably will get to your question. If you want, you can check that out. Also, check out r slash codzombies. It's a fantastic subreddit for zombie enthusiasts. I would highly recommend it. Without further ado, let's begin. We're going to kick off today's episode with a question from Alpha2298 who asks, Do the dragons in Der Eisendrache have a backstory? This is a good question because the dragons and Der Eisendrache, as well as Zetsuba no Shima, are fairly new to the zombie storyline. If you look at the zombie storyline prior to these two maps, it almost seems like dragons don't belong because they've been added so abruptly and so randomly. But there's a lot of evidence go leaning towards the fact that these dragons do exist, and if that's the case, where did they come from? What's their backstory? When we examine Der Eisendrach, uh, there's little concrete evidence that these dragons exist, and I'm not referring to the statues. It's hard to say what these statues really are, or what they come from, and there are a lot of images of dragons adorning the wall, but you can't use that as proof that the dragons exist. Now we do have a drawing created by Samantha that says, Daddy says, there used to be dragons a long time ago. Characters in zombies are not always reliable. Think about all the times that Dr. Maxis or Dr. Richthofen has betrayed you. Do you really trust what they say? So even a drawing like this, which features Samantha riding a fire-breathing dragon across the mountains, those mountains are probably the mountains where Der Eisendrache is located, it's hard to really trust what he says as fact. Now as we moved into Zetsuba no Shima, the evidence started to become more concrete. We had ciphers referring to ancient beasts that breathe fire. We had diagrams of dragons. We also had dragon eggs. Now we're really starting to piece together puzzles that show us a picture of dragons. And it's safe to say that the dragons do exist and they will play a relevant role in the zombie storyline. Although, where do they come from? The dragons have been referred to as ancient beasts. This makes sense, and it's not very descriptive. It doesn't give us much information about where they come from. But because Samantha also says that they came from a long time ago, we can assume that there was a period in which dragons did exist, and they must have at some point gone extinct. Now, maybe they're not earthly beings. We've seen beings from other realms. We know that there are the Apothecans, keepers maybe the dragons are a race of their own from another dimension and sometimes through universal convergences they bleed into our own world and there happen to be remains that were then revived by group 935 we know that group 935 and division 9 worked together to revive these dragons division 9 did most of the hard work and they actually brought the dragons to life that's how we can find their eggs in their facilities but we know that group 935 used the dragons for their bidding because we have ciphers like the 81 plus cipher that reads of the four test subjects highlighted in report 44 one of the brothers has died before we could reach him in the battle the other is still at large in the city they're using these dragons to attack the western front group 935 is using these dragons to win the war they also mention that there are multiple dragons. There's a brother, and there's one that is at large in the city. Now we know that Group 935 was able to get their hands on many different dragons. Now one thing I want to note is that we've actually seen dragon eggs in Der Eisendrach. They are in the battle room where you actually cleanse the Keeper. Maybe this means that the Keepers and the dragons are in some way aligned or possibly come from the same place quite possibly Argatha, 
It's hard to say for sure the backstory of the dragons is really up in the air. For now, we can definitively say though that these were ancient beasts that existed a long time ago, most likely went extinct, went dormant, or were exiled. And then Group 935, specifically Dr. Maxis, discovered the dragons, and then with the help of Division 9, revive the dragons and here they are now wreaking havoc on the world and i'm sure we'll be facing them in dlc 4. moving on we now have a question from torted tanner who asks are zetsuba no shima and shino numa related yes these two maps are related the most obvious connection would be the fact that their names are both in japanese but beyond that there are some other signs that these two maps actually work in tandem quite well the biggest sign or at least the most physical sign would be the radio towers Shinonuma and Zetsuba no Shima feature the same exact radio towers. This leads us to believe that they were probably communicating with one another. This is how they would share information and developments in their research as they worked with Element 115. We also know that Shinonuma has been referred to as the Rising Sun Facility. With this, we can take a look at a flag semaphore cipher found in Der Eisendrache and pick up new insight. The message reads as follows when solved. After the success at the Rising Sun facility, Division 9 is moving with Phase 2. The island facility is now operational and initial testing is underway. This lets us know that everything began at Shinonuma for the Japanese. Division 9 and their work with Element 115 and Group 935 began at Shinonuma. It began at the Rising Sun facility following the fall of the Tungsten Meteor down to Earth. And with this new supply of Element 115, they underwent a lot of new testing. Now once the island facility over at Pompeii was complete and they were ready to move on to phase two, they then transitioned. Now they probably still did some work at Shinonuma, but the majority of the work, probably the work involving the revival of dragon eggs, moved over to division nine. This is probably why there aren't any remnants of the dragon eggs or anything like that within Shinonuma. We know though that this is also where Group 935 and Division 9 worked in tandem. We know Richthofen has worked there before as evident by the Doctor's Quarter. And we know that the Japanese worked here because there are Japanese zombies who lurk around the facility. This is how we know these maps are connected. Today's episode will end with a question from James Highway who asks, Who is M? M might be one of the most significant figures in the zombie storyline. What does M refer to though? There are two likely candidates. The first one would be Maxis. Maxis has been in the zombie storyline the longest. He has been incredibly influential. If somebody was to be influential and go by the name M, maybe it could be Maxis. There's also one other candidate, Dr. Monty. Dr. Monty is a being we know very little about, but seems to work mysteriously in the background. He also created the perk colas and is responsible for this diagram. One of them is most likely M. That's the best guess. Now, which one? We can look at some ciphers that refer to M and it becomes a little bit easier to decipher. We have this cipher found on Shadows of Evil that reads, M is interested in these worthless beings. All his work will be undone, X. Now, this is a character who seems to have a lot of influence, somebody who has done a lot of work. Now, it says he's interested in these worthless beings. This means he's detached from what our characters are doing. This is most likely a reference to the Primus crew. Now, Maxis is detached from everything, but so is Monty. We also have another cipher on Der Eisendrach that reads, I have received another toy posted by M. Now this is from an official Group 935 ledger. I would guess that if this was a letter within Group 935, it would probably refer to Maxis by name. Now what this toy is, is hard to really say. It's incredibly vague, and this also doesn't give us a great idea of who M is. But we also have this radio from Dr. Maxis on Zetsuba no Shima. very presence defied logic, defied reason. He told me that he would help. I could not refuse. Maxis talks about this being. He describes this being as something almost omnipotent, as if, as if it's all-knowing. 
He also says that it defied logic. This means it's beyond Maxis's comprehension of the universe. It's something he can barely understand. But he also says that he's going to help him, and he could not refuse this help, which is interesting. Now, this kind of fits the qualities that we're seeing from M that has been described in some of the ciphers. M is this detached being interested in these worthless beings. It's almost as if M wants to help them, as if M knows something that could help us along our quest. Now, because Maxis speaks of a being that fits these qualities, when we read M in ciphers, it doesn't make sense for M to be referring to Maxis. This leaves us with Monty, and Monty, of course, does fit some of the descriptions. It seems like Monty knows quite a bit about the world of Element 115. He has diagrams of the summoning key. He's the creator of the Perk Colas. He's detached from everything that is going on right now. We also know that Dr. Maxis knows who Dr. Monty is. So maybe when Dr. Maxis says this quote in Zetsuba no Shima, he is referring to his interaction with Dr. Monty. If you ask me, M could be no one other than Monty. That's going to wrap things up for this episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like and possibly subscribe for more. I upload multiple episodes every week, and if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy the next one. As I said earlier, I'm doing an AMA over on the COD Zombie subreddit, so if you'd like to check that out, a link will be in the description, and I'd recommend you make an account and stick around on the subreddit. It's a great place for zombie enthusiasts, and I'm sure you guys will love it. I'm going to go. Have a wonderful day, and bye.